Hello, I am Sai Teja. I am currently a second year master's student pursuing in pharmacology and toxicology at Naipur Mohali. Today, in this video, we will discuss why and how to prepare for GPAD. Firstly, GPAD. As I told you in today's video, we will be discussing GPAD, Graduate Pharmacy Aptitude Test, commonly known as GPAD. If you are pharmacy if you are a pharmacy student or a graduate looking to pursue a career in pharmaceutical industry, GPAD is an important exam that you need to be aware of. In this video, you will be covering the topics such as what GPAD is, what you need to prepare for the exam, which book you should refer in order to excel in it. Additionally, we will be discussing the various benefits of qualifying GPAD and how it can also help you in your career. So sit back and get ready to learn all about GPAD. GPAD stands for Graduate Pharmacy Aptitude Test. It is a international level entrance exam conducted by the National Testing Agency on behalf of All Indian Council for Technical Education (IICTC). The exam is conducted once once a year to assess the aptitude of the candidates for admission into postgraduate pharmacy programs in various institutions across the India. GPAD scores are accepted by all over 800 participant, participating institutions including a government, private and deemed university. The exam is computer based and consists of 125 multiple questions which are, which are to be completed in 3 hours. Like the questions are based on various subjects, we will discuss in next slides. The exam is highly competitive, and candidates who score well in GPAD can secure admission to repeated postgraduate pharmacy exams. So, let's have a deep discussion about it. See, the first thing is that why should I prepare for GPAD? What are the pros for preparing GPAD? Why should I give a GPAD exam? The first thing is a competitive advantage. The pharmaceutical industry is highly competitive and having a good GPAD score can give you a competitive advantage when applying for a jobs in the industry. Employers often look for the candidates who have a strong academics record and have performed well in competitive exams like GPAD. And GPAD is an entrance exam as I told you for postgraduate pharmacy programs in India. By scoring well in the GPAD, you will increase your chances of getting admitted to a reputed postgraduate programs. And third thing is scholarship opportunity. GPAD scores are used as an eligibility criteria for various scholarships offered by the government and private institutions. These scholarships can help you fund your education and reduce your financial burden. And another Career growth opportunities. A postgraduate degree in pharmacy can open up various career growth opportunities in the pharmaceutical industry, academy, academia, research, development, and healthcare sectors. By preparing for GPAD and securing an admission to the repeated postgraduate programs, you can enhance your career prospects and earn a high salary. Qualifying GPAD is one of the eligibility criteria for admission into PhD pro programs in pharmacy in some universities and institutions in India. And qualifying GPAD exam can make a candidate eligible for post of, the post of lecture or assistant professor in UG like undergraduate or PG postgraduate pharmacy colleges. Many colleges and universities in India require graduates to have a high qualified GPAD to be eligible for teaching positions and jobs like pharmacovillians or medical coding jobs they prefer GPAD candidates and also in R&D and private companies GPAD score is preferred to be eligible for NIPER examination you must have qualified GPAD <coughs> and personal satisfaction and government and private fellowships like JRF, GPAD always prefer like in projects like ICMR and CSR. Opportunity to specialize, you have the opportunity to specialize in your own thing and global recognition 
you will get and now we have to understand the exam pattern once a year thousands of aspiring pharmacy students across the india gear up for the highly competitive um, pharmacy aptitude test gpad the exam is conducted by nta national testing agency is an online test that lasts for 3 hours it is held either in the morning from 9 am to 12 pm or in the afternoon from 2 to 5 pm the exam consists of 125 multiple questions and maximum marks a candidate can solve are 500 for each correct response the candidate will be awarded 4 marks however each incorrect response one mark is deducted it is important to note that no marks are awarded or deducted for unattempted questions the questions in the gped exams are based on various topics i will discuss in future slides for example like pharmaceutics ecology um, analysis cognacy the exam is assessed to aims to assess the aptitude of the candidates for admission into post graduate pharmacy programs in various institution across the across the india the exam is highly competitive and candidates who scores well in gpad can sure get admission into reputed uh, post graduate pharmacy programs and pursue careers in pharmaceutical industries research or academia or healthcare see gped structure what is the syllabus for gped b form is the syllabus what we have in a b form itself it is a syllabus and who are eligible for gped examination the final year b form students are eligible for gped examination and how much how many years it is valid it is valid for only up to one year previously it was there for 3 years now in this year they updated that for one year stipend how much stipend i will get if i qualify gpad 12400 for 24 months you will get it may changes 22 or 24 months and stipend only given if you take admission for m form or pg courses and what what are the gpad books that i should read like what are the major subjects for example take pharmaceutics and allied subjects what are the major subjects like pharmaceutics in pharmaceutics the major the things are like pharmaceutics physical pharmacy bpk biopharmaceutical pharmacokinetics what are the minor subject pharma engineering and like pharmaceutical engineering dispensing and hospital pharmacy these are the minor subject and if you take pharmaceutical chemistry and allied subject the major subjects are medical chemistry and pharmaceutical analysis and organic chemistry see these are the pharmacology and allied subjects the major subjects are pharmacology biochemistry microbiology biotechnology this like and the minor subjects like hepa pathophysiology clinical pharmacy like why i am categorizing major subjects and minor subjects like it all depends upon like in from major subjects you will get you can score more marks in, when compared to the minor subjects focus on both the subject like minor subject as well as major subjects then you can score well see these are the books for example if you want to prepare for pharmaceutics industrial pharmacy by lackman and remington and biopharmaceutics and pharmaco by bramaker and these are the trends and events by if you want to study for pharmacos pharm cognacy you can go with cocarte as well as trends and events and for micro microbiology pleasure and for pharmacology tripathi and rangendale and gobindrai gadge this is review of pharmacology and for organic chemistry wilson and giswold like for organic and medicinal chemistry it will be useful for advanced organic chemistry you can go for s chand and for um, for spectroscopy pave is a like good book and um, biotechnology you can follow u satyanarayana biochemistry u satyanarayana these are the both good for, good books for biochemistry like how to prepare for gped preparation see to improve retention and recall information it is useful to create personal notes charts mnemonics and and classification system like see one book can be used as a standard 
and additional notes can be added from other sources as needed and also by organizing and summarizing information in a personalized way learners can better internalize and retrieve the information when needed this is what i feel so practice maximum mcqs you will get to know what type of questions they are asking and practice solving past year question paper it is nothing but practicing previous year question paper and you will get to know you will familiar with the question paper the structure and try classification with your own mnemonics rather than uh, following others mnemonics if you construct your own mnemonics it will be easier for you and continue to be a consistent and persist in preparation so recommended books for gpad uh, is like pearson we have pearson it is a good book and in another that's for this video guys hope you like this video if you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel this is teja signing off